So uh, today, as a part of this course, IC102, we have two role plays scheduled. So the first one is from, I was going to say three idiots, but you will see some uh, concepts being presented, play acted, and uh, it should last about, uh, about 20 minutes. And then we have the second one um, scheduled after that. So let's uh, get started. Chatur, go and plot a histogram using C++. OK, sir. Welcome to C++. Sir, sir, it's taking too long. OK, then plot the histogram using Scilab. OK, I'll try. Welcome to Scilab. H-I-S-G-P-L-O-T-X. Histogram. Sir, it's a histogram. Very good, Chatur, you've plotted the histogram wonderfully. Now get the mean of this data. M E A N X. Mean. It's 50 plus 85 plus 45 plus 60 plus 55 upon 5. And the mean is equal to 59. Sir. Very good, Chatur. Now plot the median of the same data. M E D I A N X. Median. I'm going to arrange you in increasing order. You come here. You come here. Oh. And the median, and the median is 55. Sir. Very good, Chatur. Now, okay, now there are two data. There are two sets of data. Can you tell which has the higher variance of these two? Sir, I think V1 is greater than V2. Variance is a degree of spreadness of data around the mean, which you can clearly see here. Very good. Chatul, you have made the right choice. Of these two data, can you tell which is the median and which is the mean? Let me try, sir. Ah, Sir, I think this is mean because mean is noise sensitive. Very intelligent, Chatur. You have done wonderfully. Hi, Chatur. Hi, Rancho. Five years later, we will meet here. This is the place. Remember this date. And let's see who is more successful. May I come in, sir? Yes, come in. Yes, come in. You are from IIT Bombay? Yes, sir. Mm, very good. Salab leke khadu da. Salab. Moodai CG? Yes, sir. Nine plus CPI? Yes, sir. Tech fresh manager? Very good. Very good. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. You have been selected for job. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey Rancho, yeah. what's the mean salary of a company? Mine is 40,000. Huh. Mine is 50,000. Yeah. After five years. Hi Jatu, what happened? Hi Rancho. So you can clearly see that Chatur is still sad. Although the mean salary of Chatur was greater than the mean salary of Rancho, but actually the mean salary also counts the salary of the CEOs and the salaries of employees. In case of Ch Chatur's company, the CEO was getting an extremely high salary which led to an increased mean, but the employees were still getting low salaries. But Rancho was smart enough. He decided that mode is the best way here and to choose a measure of central tendency. I wish I would have understood the concepts instead of mugging them. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think I think Virat Kohli should be given man of the series for this tournament. I think it should be Zangaka rather than Virat Kohli. After all, he has been more consistent according to me. No, Virat Kohli has scored more number of runs. Okay, just wait. I will ask Sahil. Chetur, can I have the mean of the runs scored by these batsmen, please? M E A N Sangagara and Virat Kohli. See, we have the data here. Virat Kohli has scored more number of runs than Sangagara. Yeah, Virat Kohli has scored more runs, Virat but Kohli see, yeah. I don't think this is the correct judge for checking who's the man of the series. Just look at their consistency. Let us have the data about the variance. Chatur, can I have the data about the variance of each batsman? Variance. Thank you, Chatur. See, the variance of Sangakara is very low. He has been more consistent and he's a very reliable batsman. So I think he should be the man of the series rather than Virat Kohli. Okay, I agree with you. Okay, so the man of the series is Sangakara. Sangakara, can we have you on the stage? Here. You are the man of the series. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hi, Virat Kohli. No matter, man. All is all, all is all. I said, I bought the Vachu. All is all both there. Okay, whatever, whatever. Thank you. Thank you, audience. Hope you like it. Now I would like to introduce all our participants. Myself, Achudan. Himanshu Malhotra. I am Vinil. My name is Anuj. I am Sudhir. I am Aman. Baljeet. Rupak. Himanshu, Shri, Tarun, Rishabh. Thank you all. All is well. All is well. So we are waiting for the other batch to come. In the meantime, if there are questions, there have been a lot of questions on my personal mail. I didn't reply to those. Uh, are there questions that we should address before the quiz? As they are getting ready, it will take about 5-10 minutes for them to set up. So there was one question on uh, what is going to come in the quiz. Whatever we have covered in the class is included. OK? And uh, so about there were questions about Scilab. Whatever was covered in the class and whatever is required to solve the assignment in the simplest possible manner. One can, of course, come up with really complicated way to solve the problems, but I'm, I'm not talking about that. OK? So that is a portion. Are there still, are there any other questions regarding the portion? whatever is covered in the class. And also, any questions, how many of you use the email address to which Moodle posts go? Either you use it or you should, or you have a dot forward. Because all, all my interaction is only through Moodle. Right? It is not possible for me to announce anything individually. Right? So I only go through Moodle, and you should configure your system in such a way that either you access the email regularly, or you put a dot forward. Is there anyone who doesn't do that? Are there people who think that this is not OK? Do you all check your Moodle account? OK. All right. Is there uh, any other question? So some people had asked, what kind of questions will come? So I could ask you to write, uh, if you take Scilab, for example, I could say, um, here is some data. Give the command for 
calculating mean or his plot or something like that. Or I could give a code that may be right or wrong and ask your comments. Um, planning to do most of them multiple choice, but possibly I will have two things to guess. So you'll have set of sum and another set so that unless you have both of them correct, you will not uh, get the mark. So we could do something like this. I have not thought about, we are still in the process of deciding the exact nature of the paper. Um, it is also likely that we will have different questions so that your neighbor will not have your, your paper. The other thing that I would want to point out is I would not allow borrowing of anything. No borrowing of pen, pencils, ruler, eraser, nothing. Okay, calculator. You need to you need to borrow anything, you have to go out, go get it and come. Right? I will not borrow, I will not allow borrowing of anything. I don't want any excuse for talking to your neighbor. Okay, I will enforce it. If anybody is doing it, he will get a zero in that quiz. That's it. Is that clear? If you need something, if you think you need something, please bring it. I will not allow borrowing of anything. It may be just a pencil. It may just be a pen, but I will not allow it. You want something, you bring it. Okay, any other question? I think Scilab, uh, and then the, the course, uh, the theory portion, theory portion also, uh, we will, whatever is covered in the class, uh, so if it is a simple calculation, I could ask you, for example, to calculate the mean. I mean, one is to say that how will you do this in Scilab, then there you will give only the command, but I can actually ask you to do some calculation. Okay, and descriptive questions may not come because uh, we'll also have to think about grading. Now, uh, there was another question on marking. Okay, that was the other question that I have not answered. So we have, a, so uh, end semester is 50 marks. Mid-semester is 30 marks, that's already uh, as per the institute rules. So we have 20 marks at our disposal. So what we are going to do is, five marks are for uh, general activities, it could be project, whatever. Seven marks for the first quiz, eight marks for the second quiz. Okay? Five, seven, and then eight. This is what I have thought about. Any question? Is that okay? Yes? So I think the second batch also has come. If there are any questions in the meantime, they will take another five minutes to get started. If there is any other question, you can ask me. So uh, have I answered all your questions? Is there any other question that I should answer? No? So how many of you think that, uh, that we sh should do things like role play? Just raise your hand. Okay, all right. So we, uh, during the semester, we also spent some time on uh, like crossword. How many of you think it's a good idea once in a while to do that? Okay, we also played, thank you. We also played hangman. How many of you think it is a bad idea? How many of you think it's a bad idea, hangman? Okay, why? Why it is a bad idea? Okay, how many of you think it's a bad idea to have crossword? There are a few. Okay, so why, why it is a bad idea? Is it a waste of time? That's why it's a bad idea. Have you seen the survey? Yes, sir. Okay. So, okay, please uh, fill that. I will ask Manas to add one more page to take uh, feedback of 
the way this course was conducted till now. So that will also be appointed to the other instructors. Um, after this week, I will not be teaching your class. Professor Siddhartha Ghosh of Civil Engineering will. Thank you. I'll be finishing my portion, although I'll be the overall instructor for this course. So I would like to create that survey, one more page. I'll ask Manas to do that. So if you go to the same page, if you go to feedback for this course, then the feedback that you give in that will be useful for the other instructors, right? If you have some questions to include, what questions to include, you can uh, actually, I, in fact, I can create a thread in Moodle. What possible questions we should have so that we get some idea of what should be done, what should not be done, okay? I have not many, I have not received many questions uh, for the quiz from you. I received many answers that said zero. But, uh, but questions there are very few. So I think uh, we have set uh, 5 o'clock today or 12 o'clock midnight today. Otherwise, we, I'll set the paper. For as far as the Scilab submission is concerned, I would only, uh, we would only check whether uh, your um, uh, programs work. I will not really check. Some people said that they didn't use the formula for me, but they actually summed it up and divided. So that is okay. I have no problem with that. I, I didn't tell you that you should solve this program in a particular way. So any acceptable, any equivalent program code is okay. Okay, and some of you, how many of you have had difficulty accessing Moodle? There are some people who have, who could not register in time, whose Moodle page shows up and so on, didn't show up and so on. Is there anybody like that here? So there, there, there are some people, but I'm glad to say that 727 people submitted their assignments, Scilab assignments. So how many of you think that Scilab is reasonably easy to use? Uh, this is a story about how a stock market welcomes a layman. How can one survive the temptations of investment? We present you the story of Mini Datta, who has inherited a fortune, is 21 years old, and is bored with her monotonous family business. Life mein paisa kamane ki do raaste hodi hai. Ek shortcut aur ek dusra shortcut. So let's hear to the story of Mini Data, who follows a shota shortcut. Oh, what should I do? Where should I invest? Which company should I invest in? You seem to have some problem in life. I'll help you. Oh, I'm so confused. I just don't know anything about these statistics. They confuse me so much. I'm just a beginner. Oh, beginner? Then you have met the right person. I'm a broker. Everyone knows me. Even the Tatas and the Ambanis have learned the ABCs of stock exchange from me. Come, I'll help you. Oh, wow. Then please tell me which company should I invest in? I think you should invest in this company. It has a positive correlation. What's that? See, if the stocks of some other company increase, then the stocks of this company are surely going to increase. So it will be profitable if you invest your money in this company. Okay, I'll do that then. Ah, oh, the stocks of the company have fallen down. What do I do now? Broker, where are you? What happened? Why do you panic? The stocks of the company have fallen down. All my money has been wasted. Don't worry. I think you should invest your money in, in this company now. See. They have a negative correlation. You know that. Uh, okay, I've nothing but to trust you. Thanks to the broker. Mini Data has invested in every possible company. And let's see what's happened now. This company has also fallen down. This broker has fooled me. Oh no, oh no. 
You are a dumb female. You don't know anything. I just can't help you now. With investment comes risks. And do not ever forget, the conditions always apply. I'm the broker. I know everything. Even the Tatas and Ambanis have learned the ABCs of stock exchange from me. Come, I'll help you. Thank you. Uh, now let me introduce our group. Diksha as Mini Datta, Sonam as the broker, Pratiba and Amrita as the banks, myself Pranusha. Thank you. I was thinking that we would be short of time, uh, but uh, we finished early. So you were, um, I had uh, our uh, associate dean academic programs also uh, has come. If you have any uh, feedback for him, you can tell him either now or later. Uh, I want to introduce Dr. Sujata Jagannath, who has come, who has flown all the way from Bangalore to help our <laughs> to help organize this. Uh, she has a PhD in electrical engineering from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, and. Um, she is into pedagogy, educational methodologies, how to um, increase student interest in courses, different ways of teaching and so on. Um, when I was the head of CD, uh, we signed an MOU with Mission 10X. Mission 10X is a non-profit trust established by Wipro. So we have been uh, interacting with them closely. So I took the liberty to invite Dr. Sujata Jagannath. She came yesterday itself. In fact, she was here at 12 o'clock, 11.30 uh, uh, yesterday morning. Then she was in the lab throughout the afternoon till about 7 o'clock. Talked to every one of uh, the organizers. And then once again, she came at uh, 7.30. She came just for this. I would invite her, wanted to say a few words. A very good morning. Uh, it's been a, a pleasure in IIT. So our interaction with Professor Kannan has been extremely um, learning aspect as well as very nice and cordial experience for us. Uh, Mission 10X is the project for which I'm working on. And this focuses on enhancing teaching learning process in engineering classrooms. So in this context, uh, we have been interacting with IIT and specifically Professor Kannan has been the key uh, person with whom we have been interacting and uh, this was a very good opportunity for us to understand how do we enhance the teaching learning process. And what I appreciate a lot is after I came yesterday and uh, we started and uh, all the uh, Rishabh and other group and Ayesha and the others, um, after meeting, after discussing and they have put in a lot of effort and uh, we could see the kind of output they gave today. So I, my wholehearted thanks and appreciation to one and all here. And, I'm sure all of you enjoyed this as well as we have taken the learnings from that. Thanks a lot and I look forward to continuing working with IIT. Thank you very much. So, uh, okay then. So, <clears throat> please remember to, we are going to create, I'm going to request Manas to add one page in which we want to get your feedback. Of course, some of these things are possible. Uh, see, we have always complained about large classes. There are some, uh, some problems. For example, I cannot see, uh, I cannot see the person who raised their hand. Don't even know who that is. Okay. Uh, I cannot have face to uh, eye contact unless you sit somewhere close. So there are some disadvantages, but there are some advantages too in that it is possible, you know, we have a, we have a very large spectrum of 
students with varying interests. And hence, it is possible to organize different kinds of activities which will cater to different population, different samples in the group. And it is also possible to, um, it is possible to concentrate our effort in the sense, for example, if a faculty member, for example, we have four faculty members for this course. <clears throat> now, if this is divided into, let's say, 200 student class, 200 into four, then each person will have to spend, uh, will have to deliver the entire, all the lectures. So as a result, what happens is, um, f as far as IIT's um, uh, load calculation is concerned, teaching six hours for 750 students is considered equivalent to teaching, let's say, 25, 24, 26 classes for 200 people. Right? That is, it is considered equivalent load. As a result, it is possible for a faculty member to put in a lot of effort to make those six lectures really count. Right? So I know that some of you do not like large classes, but there are some benefits also. Right? Whether I would have done the same thing if I had had 25 classes is not clear to me. I may or may not have had the time. I may not be able to spend so much time on every lecture. Uh, I did a lot of reading, mainly to identify interesting topics that will uh, convey something useful in the class and that will also be relevant to the course in the rest of the things. So it may not be possible to put in so much effort for every lectures, every lecture if there are going to be, let's say, 25. So anyway, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, something uh, that we have to keep in mind. What we did was we made a conscious decision this semester to go through the feedback given by your seniors. How many of you have seen that feedback? Last year's student feedback. Is there anyone who has seen it? Okay, I'll see if I can, I'll see if I can upload it. So you will also know. Hmm? They may not have seen it. Yeah, I'll see. There is nothing uh, confidential in that. Uh, it is an anonymous survey. And they have talked about, for example, they said that do more computations. Okay, so we have done more computations. 727 assignments have been received on Moodle. Okay, and the main objective of that is to make you use Scilab and see how it is, it is how easy it is to use. It is to convey that idea. Uh, so I'm, I'm heartened to see that many of you raised your hands when I asked the question, how many of you like Scilab is easy to use? Okay. Is there anything else? Would somebody want to come and say something? Any of you? If you want to say something here, please come and say. We have about five minutes. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Aisha. I'm in the fourth year. Uh, you know, so I'm your senior here. Um, I just want to say, like, we didn't have this course which you guys have. And, you know, we, we realize that how important this course is only when we come, you know, when we are doing a BTP and, you know, we can't really you know, use MATLAB, but we don't know, we, we have to sit and learn that before we, you know, even start uh, reaching any conclusions. So I think this is a very important course for all of you so that you understand basically how you're going to use this data because even once you get a job, right, since we are all IITians, we are expected to infer data. We are not going to be the ones who are going to be collecting all of this. So inference comes only when you understand what you're doing in courses such as this. So I think it's very important whether you get into any kind of job, you'll have to infer things, you'll have to make decisions. And this is, this, such kind of courses is what is going to come to your use. So I really think that uh, please take this course seriously. Uh, I think is one, that's why it's been got into your new curriculum in the first place. So make the most out of it. And Professor Kanan has tried a lot to, you know, make this, at least the first six lectures, very, very interactive. I just hope you, you, you people, you know, 
you know, appreciate that effort and, you know, try and work hard. That's it. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone else who would want to say anything? So, uh, I would request you, please come for all classes in large numbers. All of you, please come. Because the faculty members are going to take a lot of effort. Because each one is going to teach only six classes. Remember that. So, please do come to the class. Right? And please also come to the tutorial classes. There was some confusion about splitting you into numbers. Is there a representative? Class representative? Or a year representative? Academic representative? No? Okay. Yeah, it will be good if uh, there is somebody uh, who will represent or a few people or ten people or one person per hostel. I understand. But it will be good to, good to have somebody so we can talk to. Of course, Moodle is a great, uh, you know, democratic institution. You put it, then everybody gets to see it. Okay? So, if there is no other question, see you all on Wednesday, uh, on uh, Friday. Uh, Friday, same time, 8.15. We'll start the quiz at 8.15. Thank you. Thank you all.